Okay, so I'm going to do a quick video about Green Man Loaded because even though I've been sent Black White Bushido, it doesn't work on keyboard or mouse yet. So yeah, I, I broke my controller so I can't actually play it at the moment. I'm going to send the email to developers along with publishing this video. So yeah, hopefully they'll do something because I've seen a lot of people on the Steam communities getting a bit upset as well, but it doesn't work on keyboard or mouse. And, it's in the bindings, but you can't rebind the bindings completely, so when it's bound to joypad, you can't rebind those joypad controls to the keyboard. Perhaps in the main game it has keyboard enabled, but to even get to the main game you've got to get through the options, and the options you can't use on the keyboard and mouse, so it's kind of unfortunate oversight perhaps, but I'm sure it'll be fixed soon, so don't worry about it. It might even be fixed by the time this video goes out. Yeah, Green Man Loaded it launched in September 2014. Obviously, it's designed to help developers get their games launched and get a bigger market. So it's got you know the PR teams and everyone behind it, and let's players and gamers and different things that will give feedback and support and help launch your games. So definitely worth looking into. So Green Man Gaming, obviously, it's a platform where people can buy the games, I'm sure you've probably heard of it by now, but Green Man Loaded is supporting that, so it's helping launch games as well as providing a platform to sell them on, so they also go on Steam as well as going on Green Man Gaming and all that. So yeah, they offer finishing finance options to help you complete your game, access to closed beta programs to help improve your game, so obviously the Playfire community and different things they have behind it, and the PR contacts and the Let's Players and all that and different things, so helps to give proper feedback from actual proper gamers and not people who necessarily don't know what they're doing or, you know, won't accidentally break games because they used to playing them in certain ways and... Yeah, I know it's probably not the greatest selling point after talking about how Black White Bushido launched without keyboard and controllers, but that's an oversight, you know, people can miss it, especially if most people have controllers, because a lot of people do these days and not everyone breaks them. <laughs> Sorry about that, <laughs> yes. Um, Energetic experience, highly sophisticated sales marketing PR team to help you get games to markets. Obviously, they're really friendly and polite and happy, and they were going around the EGX getting people to play the games, and not only the ones on the show floor, like Eternal Step, getting people to play that behind the scenes. So, yeah, that's another one that's coming out soon, and definitely looking forward to playing that. Comes out on October 12th, I believe. And obviously, Black and White Hero came out this week with 20% off, and I've got a 23% extra off site wide on Green Man Gaming, which I'll include in the description. So, if you plan on buying anything on there, Get it whilst you've got the extra discounts. Oh, pardon me. So, fortnightly royalties to ensure you get swiftly rewarded for your success. So, fortnightly payments. In other words, uh, routes to worldwide retail channels. So, you know, Steam, Glo Green Man Gaming themselves, and I don't know, Disora, because Disora doesn't really exist anymore. It's kind of dead. Oh, they're still up, but you know, it's. Yeah. In the quandary whether that's going to continue because they're trying to sell it off, but it's not necessarily the best thing to go. So they promise you, the developer, you will lose to own your intellectual property, so you have control over it. You know, you can decide if you want people to show it off on Let's Plays or different things, or if you don't want it shown off, or if you want embargoes and different things. And obviously, you own the rights, so they won't make T-shirts of your stuff and your content. It's all your content, they just help provide support and funding and different things so yeah definitely marketing and different things and there will be an advanced video which i've been trying to arrange with a million different things of paths to market for your games and it's just dealing with so many press contacts on top of everything it's a lot of them hard to get to <laughs> commit to talk to <laughs> so yeah i could talk about it all myself but it's a lot more fun having a rapport on the video with the actual companies rather than just be like, hey, I'm going to talk about six different routes to market of by myself. <laughs> so yeah, but I thought I'd do this because I wanted to do the Black Mike Bushido, tried to play it right now, and I can't get access to it because of the whole keyboard and mouse thing, so I'm doing this instead. Anyway, it, yeah, Endemol Shrine, or Endemol Shrine UK are the ones doing Black Mike Bushido, so, you know, they're behind a 
a lot of famous TV companies, and now they're going into gaming, it would appear. So, yeah, it's a fun little game. Just a shame I can't show it off right now. It will come. It will come. Just watch this space. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.